what you've just seen is some cactus juice in vacuum with two of these and I drilled them both hopefully to get the resin impregnated into the wood as much as possible it was under vacuum for a couple of hours and then I put it in the pressure pot under 60 psi and that's been in there for about three days and I've lost pressure down to uh, one bar now so um, but that's okay okay There it is. So, um, yeah, we've gone and gone from plain old looking piece of maple there. Oh, I say that. I mean, it is. It's got some nice, you know, things going on. But it really, this red colour really brings out the um, the grain of it all. Look at that. So what I did, just to explain, I drilled these holes here are the right size for Scirocco kits. Um, so I've drilled a blind hole, I've drilled down to about here. Um, because I found that when I'm drilling nowadays that the top of this hole starts to get a little bit oval. Um, where you keep going in and out with the drill to clear the flute. So I've opted for the, um, the system where you drill the hole longer than what you need and that hole comes to about there now the tube is about this long so now I'm just going to cut off here and cut off there and then I'll have um, a nice size uh, drill drill hole at each end anyway let me put this in the oven and um, cook it I can't remember the details now what temperature and how long but I'll find that out this is the maple pen blank that's been dyed with red. I'm going to go through the process of turning it down, um, get a finish on it, and let's see what it looks like. Maybe it'll look really nice. There's some nice pattern in, in there with the wood, um, and maybe a, f a faint hint of colour will, will uh, be all right. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. I'll. Um, get this chopped down as quick as possible. Okay, so there's a hint of the red running through parts of it. A bit pinkish really, but uh, yeah, it's getting interesting. Um, here, it's you can see the colour just in the grain. When you put a little bit of the wet on there, it really kind of stands out. I hope that's that's showing up on the camera but you know what from something I thought was just not that good I'm so happy with it okay everyone so I've put six coats of CA and then knocked that back with uh, 800 1000 and 1200 now this is 1200 grit uh, wet sanding So let's have a little look. Okay, so I've gone for the gold and gunmetal Scirocco. I think it matches it. It's all quite warm colours on here. So um, yeah, it's quite nice. So let's uh, push these together. Uh, I've run out of travel on the quill there, so we'll take another bite of that. Okay, nice. Try 
close that up. So definitely didn't want to cover any of this. This is amazing stuff going on in here. There you go everybody, there's the um, gold and gunmetal Scirocco with maple uh, blank that I had put in the um, in the vacuum and pressure pot with some red dye, red cactus juice um, and it's turned out really nice, I've loved the way that on the close up you can see little tiny red lines so this is about as close as I can zoom in on this camera. I'm hoping that this, these little tiny veins are showing up. It's quite, um, it's quite beautiful the way it's uh, turned out. And I like this transition into the darker colour there. It's definitely got um, a kind of hint of pink, pinky red. Okay everyone, thank you for watching, I will see you all soon.